Hi friends, we're going to be dealing with number properties in this section and we will talk about the relationships between squares and square roots or the relationship, whatever you prefer. Okay, so what's the square root of 49? Well, it's what you have to multiply by itself to get 49, right? So the square root of 49 is 7. But then if you multiply that by itself, you'll get 49. So in other words, square roots and squares are inverses. If you do one to the other, you cancel them out, right? So the square root of 49 is 7. 7 squared is 49, right? So it's like you didn't do anything at all. What do you think this is? The square root of 100 is 10. 10 squared is 100, right? So the answer should just be 100. So at some point, you don't, have to, you don't have to do the square root and the square. You can just be confident and say, you know what? This and this are going to cancel out. I'm just going to get 100. So what do you guys think? I mean, look, you're going to be tempted at first to just do both, right? You're it's easy enough to take the square root of 4, right? You get 2, and then 2 squared is 4. But you can save yourself the time, especially with a big number. Maybe level two will have big numbers. So what's the idea here? Well, we're just going to get 16. What's the square root of one? One. What's one squared? One. But again, square roots and squares, they're just inverse operations. They undo each other. Okay, how about this? Well, what's the square root of 64 squared? I think we know. You could say it's 8, and then you could say 8 squared is 64, or you could just say, hey, I know it's going to be 64. Right? You know, I should, I mean, there really should be a problem like this, right? What's the square root of 91 squared, right? Because that'll make you uncomfortable. You'll be like, I don't know what the square root of 91 is. I can't actually do it. But it doesn't matter, right? Because if you take the square root of 91 and you square it, you'll get 91, right? That's the, that's the takeaway. Even if it's not a nice number here, it'll still work out. So in this case, it is a ni nice number, so it's just 100. Square root of 9 squared? You guessed it. 9. Right? So the point of this section is to really hammer home in your brain and your heart that the square root of squares the square root and square operation are inverses of each other, right? So the square root of 1 squared is 1. The square root of 4 squared is 4. Let's see what level 2 has to offer us. Square root of 36 squared. All right. Let, let's, I mean, let's do the steps. So what's the square root of 36? It's 6. What's 6 squared? It's 36. Right? Maybe you guys should work through these details a couple times so that you see the pattern for yourself before you just cross out, right? It's all well and good to tell you to skip steps, but you should you should think through them on your own. So square root of 144 is 12, but then 12 times 12, or 12 squared, is 144. All right, so that's 144. Okay, that's just one. I mean, look, we can, we, can, we can race, right? What is this? 49. What is this? 16, right? So uh, the, the, the point of this is there, there is, like, look, 169. We don't even have to know. We don't even have to know what the square root of 169 is to know that when we square it, we get back 169. Again, don't even need to know anything. 196. Great. 144, square root. Who cares? When we square it back, you'll get 144. Square root of 9, 3. Doesn't matter, though, because 3 squared is back to 9. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Okay, guys. Oh, there's a level 3. Okay. What do you guys think? 36. You know, oh, I love this question, right? Because it doesn't matter what the square root of 324 is. When you square it, you get back 324. 
Same. We know the square root of 256 is 16, but we don't need to waste brain power on that. Right, I'm waiting for a, a more complicated number here. 196, okay. We don't know what the square root of 196 is, but we don't really care because when we square it, we get back 196. Okay, guys, I think you get the point. I wanna bore you to death. Well, let's just do this one, 324. There we go. Um, I think you get the point. So, have a great afternoon.